For the past 16 years, Keith Lankford has been one of the best scorers in professional basketball. And now, after an MVP season, he's chasing a trophy in the Basketball Champions League Final Eight. This is where McGee, uh, you know, you gotta do better there. rare that you'll see a career last 16 years. Taking care of the body is essential to longevity. What's even more rare is Keith has been an elite scorer his entire career and seems to only be getting better. You know, I, I think, you know, transitioning into this last part of my career is uh, it's just important to put the finishing touches on, you know, the consistency that, that I've had throughout my career. and. Uh, you know, I just um, keep getting better. And I mean, even at this point, year, year 16, I just keep adding different things to the game, uh, keep to my game, I should say. And, um, you know, just, just being that, that same blueprint, that model, you know, to, to show guys the kind of work you should put in and that you can extend your career past, you know, what, what guys typically do. So just, just being the same key, putting in the same work, I'm doing the same things I've done for the last 15 years. And that same consistency had him as the league's second leading scorer before play was stopped due to the coronavirus. Now that the final eight has resumed in Greece, Keith can put the finishing touches on a season that was almost ruined by the pandemic. I think the biggest thing with basketball being taken away uh, for me it was it was impactful just because you know I'm an older player and I know that you know I don't have much time left to, so to lose chunks of the season um, you know is, is very impactful and, and it's very. Uh, it's very difficult for me um, because I, I want to maximize as many opportunities as I have towards the end of my career. So definitely the most impactful thing is just having basketball taken away, not knowing how much time you have left. And as his team prepares for a championship run, it seems he's enjoying every minute of playing basketball again. What you got? What you, no, 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 come on, no, no. I need, I need, what's, what's, I need to know what you bet, man. I need, what you, you got, you got the heat? Can I? At least it's, 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 something, it's something though. It's something. Yeah. Just gotta get in, get out. You got another ball? No ball, no ball. You gotta score, but you can't get no balls available. It's all good. I'll just, I'll just shoot all of them tomorrow. <laughs> I need you to show me that show me that move one more time. Sherman Douglas. I need you to show me. I need you to show me that. I might pull it out in the end tomorrow. Hold on, how? So when you're dribbling, are you coming off the? Ah. Okay, so you ah. 
that's, that's not that's not bad, man. That's that is tough. That's tough. I like Marcus move better though. I like, <laughs> no, hey man. <laughs> is that tra is that travel? That's not travel, right? No, no, no. It's like it's like a step back. It's like a step back. Step back, you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the aesthetics are, the aesthetics are terrible. The aesthetics are terrible, but the move is good though. Hey, no, no, that's, that's, that's extremely creative, though. I think the moves are if I sleep. Because if you step back, I'm... That's what I'm saying, you're going to go for it. Ah, no. <laughs> What's up? Nah, I mean, once the final leg's finished, I'm, I'm going to go with Puma, but I got to, like, uh... My dad used to tell me, he's like, you gotta go to the dance with the girl. Uh, hold on, damn, what is it? Oh yeah, you gotta go to the dance with who wanna go with you. So I gotta tell, I gotta wear the shoes that got me, that got me here first, and then we, I'll change up after. They actually not bad though, man. Cross them over your knee. Let's do tips. I mean, they're not as they're not as secure as those hyper dunks, but. <laughs> <laughs> that's gotta be that's like the most it's the most secure basketball shoe ever made. <laughs> so. oh, you need with all, with all these moves you need you need your ankles to be free of mine. <laughs> I think you, I need it stable. <laughs> Competing for a championship in the beginning of the season is new for everybody. So how it will affect every team remains to be seen. I like the concept of playing in, in a competitive tournament to start. Uh, it's very motivating. At the same time, uh, I'm a player that's, that's uh, typically uh, played well off of rhythm. And it's very early in the season to have you know, the type of rhythm to play for a championship. So I'm interested to see how both things mix together. <laughs> Keith was awarded the MVP trophy before the first game. And as we expected, the MVP didn't hesitate to do what he does best. The 22 year old from Cleveland State, their all time leading scorer, wastes no time. Nimberg had no answer for him from the beginning of the game. Even in the final minute, Keith was in attack mode to make sure his team got to the semifinals. You know, though, that they are a very good team, and they've got a lot of good weapons. semi-final game proved to be no different as Ike got out to a comfortable lead early. Party, so to speak, of the party of champions. There's Lankford. And the other team is actually really competing with them. They just <laughs> dropped the ball there and lose possession, they'll be fine. After finishing with 18 points and a blowout win, Keith was heading to the championship game. After scoring some buckets early, Ike was off to a great start in the first quarter. After getting down by a large deficit, I made a strong push to get back into the game. In the 
again, they didn't make enough plays and ended up losing the championship. Though he didn't walk away with the championship, Keith was able to bring closure to an incredible MVP season. With a new season approaching, it'll be interesting to see if Keith can lead his team to another Champions League final appearance.